Well, I remember when you signed, they were talking about this performance that you made against Barcelona with Messi in the team. And now you play against Man United with Ronaldo in the team. Obviously, it was Ronaldo at the back end of his career, and he's still okay. in the back end of his career, he's still playing, isn't he? Sorry, did What's Messi that? play? Did Messi play against Adam? Something? Yeah, he played. Man. He's still in the back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, see, when this guy comes in, what do you two think? Because you've never had a Cypriot coach before. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know to be honest. Uh, it was different. It was different. Um, I think Yannick was more tactical, um, not not as passionate, but set us up and we knew our jobs attacking and defending i think sophronis came in got us more solid and brought the passion out in the players i think that was more his sort of coaching style um which is not much like i've seen before um we didn't do that much tactical work obviously he got us more solid but that was about it um but he made us feel like we go into a game 100 from the start um and it did work um, for for a spell, uh, I think we he got the reaction from the players he wanted, and we ended up winning the cup, which overall was a good season. Even though we didn't do very well in the league, we won a bit of silverware. Um, but yeah, his coaching style was a lot different to what I've been used to before. But if you he got the results to start with, so you can't really argue with that. For me, where I see the difference as well is like I felt like in the Cypriot or like with Omonia, like. You know, they're really passionate. Obviously, you get fans are really passionate. But, like, the anger of that passion, you feel it. You know, like, for example, against your opposition, you know, that, that hate is, is quite strong. And I, and I mean, for us, as a player, when you... you this seems like every game's got history. You know, and that have an impact, for me anyway. Like, when I play, like, you feel like the games matter for the fans that much. So, of course, it's got to have an impact for you. So, obviously, is I find that funny, but when I Omonia, when I play with Omonia, every game is a derby. Every time I hear about Anastos, it's a derby. Uh, obviously, Apoel is a derby. Uh, Limassol was a derby for some reason. Apollon could be a derby. So every game become a derby for a certain reason. You know. So that passion, that's why I felt like every game was like a bit extreme. You know, and it worked good, but it could work bad, obviously, because you you don't have the results sometimes or losing. Uh, so that was uh, to find the balance, but that was a good experience. That if I compare to to other league mm. where I felt like the fans on the defeat or on the bad result are probably more calm, I would say than Omonia. I can't remember who it was. It was one winger who every time he just dived and screamed. What do you think is lacking this season? I don't don't say wins <laughs> or points, <laughs> but what do you think is actually lacking in terms of? on the field because this summer obviously just gone with you know you leaving and a few experienced players like Militic, Militic, a few others do you think it's the experience that's lacking do you think it's the leadership I, I i think there's a lot of things in all fairness but you being the guy that's been there and you bash you've been there what do you think we're lacking yeah i think they've got rid of a lot of experienced i think they got rid of too many for me personally um and i think when you change as many players as you they have and brought as many players as they have in. It's always going to take time, especially when you've got a new manager and now they've changed the manager. So it's like starting again. Um, so it doesn't look like they know what they're doing as a team. I've only watched a couple of games since leaving, but from what I've seen, they look very open. Um, like good in attack, but very open when they lose the ball. That's what it looks like to me. Um, and playing a bit. In, as individuals, not as a team, me, for me personally. Uh, to, be, to be fair, like, apart from the, which uh, I forget his name, uh, Regdal, mm. his manager, apart from him, like, we've been asked question, you know, like the, the board came and how we felt about him. And that was pretty rare. He got sacked actually, it was two, two, three weeks before. Uh, as a as a leaders, we've been asked, oh, how do we feel with this coach, etc. What do you think, etc. And we gave like our honest opinion at the time as well. He's only been there for two weeks, so for us, it was like absolutely mad to to be kind of brought those kind of question, you know. But we said like, honestly, he's been here, he's been fine. We cannot 
I have nothing to say really about it, you know, like, uh, uh, but apart from that, we, we always been, I always find out the next day, you know, like someone been uh, let go, you know, we see, we find out in a change room when, when, or the CPS know a little bit more because like you said on the press, but it, it seems like the press knew before us. Well, they, they sacked him straight after a game. So I think we, we oh, like Salamina. You know the game that got rained off and we had to go back to play the last 20 minutes? Salamina, yeah. Um, I think we lost 1-0. Um, yep. And his assistant, Gary Parker, messaged me the night the game got called off and we were playing the next day. And he was he was saying to me, I think we could be in trouble if we don't win the game. Um, and then, obviously, we lost the game and they've got a manager's room in the GSB. So, obviously, the chairman must have gone in. We're all sitting on the bus and then Lenny... And um, Parks have walked past the bus, and I'm looking down, and Parks has just gone. We, we're gone. So that happened straight after the game. So what's that hang about? When you say the chairman, are we talking about the guy that's in New York or the other I guy? I don't know who. Maybe Dimitri might have done it. Mm. I, I don't know yeah. who done it. Uh, I was sitting yeah. on the bus, but they walked out, and we just we're done. Yeah, probably Grim Reaper. He probably did it. <laughs> yeah, probably him. Probably him.